Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Thriving Thrifters. Clarissa here. Have my director. John, that's a Pepsi, cherry, not a beer. <laughs> Sorry that this video is going to go up late today. I just wasn't feeling it last night. So we're going to record, edit, and push it on out to the world on the same day. Day. Stick it up that we're living dangerously today, folks. If you are new here, welcome. I hope that you will consider subscribing. We are a fun, crazy, dysfunctional family. We live in the Austin, Texas area. I like to frequent the Goodwill outlet, aka the bins, where I pay $1.49 a pound. And that's what we're doing today. We're doing a haul. The things that you see listed, the things that you see here are all listed. Hopefully by the time I get this video up, pictures are all taken. I'm just finishing the drafts on my Poshmark closet. So I do this outside of my full-time job. I resell on Poshmark and eBay. So let's just get into it. I do have on my happy holidays shirt for the festive season you're festive aren't you all right so first thing that i have here the stuff has all been laundered oh <gasps> you used to have a shirt like that yeah way it, back in the day it's very soft it is torrid and it's called super soft yes it is size double zero which i believe is an or extra large i'll have to look at the listing it, it really is super soft Super soft. Yep. Short sleeves. Next is this Cupio dress. Size large. It is this peplum type bottom. Be super cute with a little brown hat and brown tall boots. Three quarter button. Bell sleeves. Super cute. Why don't you like it? I'm just not that type of person, I guess. Next is this turtleneck. I saw this brand and thought that I had heard of it. However, it's kind of difficult to take pictures of black. This is Michael Stars. Mm -hmm. One size. It's got this mock type neck. And it has bell type sleeves. Yep. And it has this keyhole thing on the keyhole back. You're a keyhole. To give it a little pizzazz. Mm. It's very soft. You're showing a little skin there, aren't you? Yeah. Very cute. And I've talked about this brand before, but I found it again. Lululemon? Oh, no, it's an SF. An SF. It looks like junk, but that's how it's made. Um, I found this, I don't remember what season it was. I think it's two years ago and it was selling for $236. It is <coughs> shorts, romper. Oh, wow. Yep. I didn't realize it was a romper. Three quarter length sleeve, black. I know it looks like it's been wadded up and thrown in the corner, but that is the style. Well, we need to start buying some of these things and widen them up and throwing them in the corner on the back porch. And then in a couple of years, we can sell them for like 200 bucks a piece. Um, I picked up a pair of pants in this brand, which is how I learned about it. And mm -hmm. those sold for $50. Nice. So, next are these. These are J. Jill. I usually do not pick up J. Jill size four. But this time you just had to? Because I thought that these pants were cute. They're long, wide leg. They're kind of cute. Kind of a seersucker pattern. You're a seersucker. And they have these cute little decorative buttons on each side. Size four. Mm -hmm. Side zip. Mm -hmm. Cute, cute. The little detail in the back. I just thought that the color and the... It's beautiful. Yeah, I think they're not linen. They're heavier than linen. Let's see what they are. They're stretch. 
Kind of like a lazy denim, almost like a gap. Cotton, stretch nylon, pants. and spandex. Right. Okay, navy blue and white stripe. This I have not listed because the pictures don't look very good. And I don't, I haven't looked at this brand, so I don't know if it's worth me worrying uh -huh. about it. Madison and Berkeley. Berkeley. This is size extra small. And it's a black turtleneck, and it's got the gathered sleeve in the bottom. It's got the slits up the side. Mm hmm. Um. So I need to look it up and see if it's even worth listing. I think it's just cotton. Polyester, cotton, and rayon. Mm, good thing you're not a uh, fabric detective. Why? She would have missed it on that one. Why? You said, I think it's just cotton. And then oh. you listed off like two other things that it is. Um, this is a dress. I want to see you wear that. I would, I would never have imagined in a million years that was a dress. Pink and red detail. Very pretty. This is how it's supposed to be. I thought that this was the back, but it's not. This is the side. See how it looks like zips at the back. Oh. And this is... Nanette Lepore, size six. Hmm. Yep. And it is very heavy. It's wool. Wool and sleeveless. Wow. Does that go together? It does if it's not super cold outside. Um, it's m midi length on me. <laughs> well, that <laughs> means it's like a short short skirt on anybody else. Here is just a made well. I actually got this to wear in this Christmas season while I'm wearing all these Christmas shirts every day because I wasn't Lumber finding yeah. Christmas ones. And I thought that I could pass this off. Mm -hmm. But I ended up finding enough shirts, so I listed it. Okay. Um, it's this oversized. Little platy. Large. Red and navy. Red and navy. But in front, very cute. But in front what? I haven't listed this yet just because I want to find a stock photo. This is, I think, Raquel Allegra is the brand. I've seen I can't read that. other resellers talk about this. Mm -hmm. One big reseller that I follow. And it is 100% silk. It is buttoned up the back. Oh, that's the back? Mm -hmm. And it's pink and blue gray. Why does the collar fold down? It doesn't. I just don't have the button. Oh, you don't have the top somewhere. button button. Okay. Well, that's fun. I'm trying to get ready in the morning. That's the back. 100% silk. Interesting. So, I'm still researching it. Size zero. Hmm. This is another one that I heard the same reseller talk about. It is Rails. Is that a Jaguar or is that a Leopard? I think I... It's a cheetah. This has the name on it. It is Charlie Cheetah. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yep. Charlie Cheetah. Okay, so it's a cheetah with neither. And it is a size small. Mm. Linen, I had to iron it after I washed it because it looked like a mess. Well, it still looks like it's wrinkled. Well, I mean, I can't make it brand new. Is it a new. linen shirt? Mm -hmm. I just yeah. said it's linen. Okay, I wasn't listening. <laughs> I don't pay attention to you. <laughs> White with black novelty print. Very cute. Yeah, very cute. What is it again? Charlie Cheetah. I know, linen. I know. Lesson. You said it was linen? <laughs> this is a very cute Torrid. Top. Size zero. Yep. Which I think is an XL. I don't remember. I looked it up on the sizing chart when I listed it. And it's got the adjustable straps, like bra straps. Mm hmm. So you adjust it to where you need the girls to be. Oh. And it's Does got it have this the built in stretchy back? It's braless type thing, so it's made to hold the girls. I don't know. Oh. Cute. Okay. Gray and floral. 
baby doll. We'll see. I picked this up because I thought it was very... Um, and it's a dumb vest. What's the word? Um, dumb. Oh, this is cute. Here's the brand. I looked this up. This is a anthropology. Marrakech. Talk about yuppies. Marrakech. Oh, Marrakech. Size small. It has zippers all over it, and you can tighten it here on the sides. It is light blue, and then it's got this off-center asymmetric zip. You're just throwing all the big words out today. Cute, cute. So, I didn't find a stock photo, so I just... <laughs> Listed the picture of it. Had like reflexes. You know, thought her leg was on fire the way she kicked it up. Oh my goodness. This is, I have not looked this up yet. Izod. Live. It's got the Izod alligator on it. And I thought it was cute because it has the off. The pocket, yes. Yeah. From a different sweater. Yeah. yeah. The little white stripes. Preppy. Mm hmm. Designed in France. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Lacoste Live means. How is that different? Because it's actually right here and it's live. It's not a recording. So, I don't know if it's size four. It's probably women's. Probably. Because men's sweaters are not listed by size four. Um, this is just a dress. It is. Bowden. Mm-hmm. Just a long line, green. Looks like it's got some weight ribbed. to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's not just a. It's not wool, but it's not. It's, yeah, it's like a heavy, a heavy yarny type. Made whatever in that. Portugal. Portugal. Uh, seventy-two percent cotton, twenty-eight percent polyester, but Ooh. it feels much heavier. Yeah. It's got a lot of extra cotton in it. It's cute. Mm-hmm. And this is just an Everlane size small, mm -hmm. single pocket crop top. Just a pink t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I had one of these in green and it sold pretty quick. So cool. Thought Maybe that will as one. well. And next is this LLB. I forgot what his large. name is. And this is 100% cashmere, and it has no holes. Mm. Blue, tealish, very pretty. So, did I say the size? Size large. LL Bean stands for Leon Leon Wood Bean, and he invented the main hunting shoe because he went on a hunting trip. And he came back and his feet were wet and it was cold. So he invented this shoe and that was the start of L.L. Bean. Okay. These next items I picked up, I was on my way out of the bins. I had a headache. And I just wasn't feeling it this day. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go down this Is last Peloton shirt? row of bins and then I'm leaving. And as I rounded the corner, my very first was this Peloton, size small. Wow. And I would have never picked this up had it not <clears throat> been for Kay over at Passports and Pizza Pies. She talks about Peloton being a really awesome seller. So. Well, I, I guess if you can't afford the workout equipment, you can at least afford the tank and then it makes everybody think that you got them at home. So I picked it up and I thought it was pretty interesting. And then I rounded the corner <gasps> and another Peloton. <laughs> wow, you hit the Peloton jackpot. And this is Wear It With Heart or something. Oh, cool. Yeah. This is like the, called the Pride shirt or whatever. Uh -huh. So, I listed <clears throat> this on eBay and Posh. And last item. Another Peloton. My Not God. just that. Oh, it's a Lululemon Peloton. Can you see it? Yep. Wow. No stains, no nothing. No rips, no tears, no snags, no pulls, no nothing. Yep. Cool. So, we'll see. Kate put that on her nice list, so I hopefully it'll be on my nice list, too. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. 
And that was my haul. We are now at that point of the video for the quad question of the day. So during the year, people generally try to eat well, or a lot of people do, not everyone. Everyone, you know, not everybody cares. But those of us that do, are you the type of person that can maintain your eating plan, your eating, your diet throughout the holidays or when the holidays come around along about Thanksgiving time, it just goes out the window until after the first of the year. So I'm, I fall into the latter category, except my holiday time began this year, basically whenever I got COVID. Which was in July. It was in August. It was when Taylor went to camp. It was when she got back from camp, which was in August. <clears throat> so I've been straying. I usually for quite a while. can stick quite a while. to it, and I'm going to Mexico in a couple weeks, so I said that I needed to. But um, I ate brownies and cookies today for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> That's the diet you're the brownie and cookie diet. Awesome. I've eaten all of the things. I was on a milkshake diet for a while. Yep. So. I hope that you will do what Santa says. Be a ho, ho, ho. Answer in the comments down below, please. And subscribe to our channel. Smash the button, please. And I'll see you in the next one.